What is the integral of 1 over 3x plus 1 squared dx between 1 and infinity? Does it converge or diverge? And if it converges, what number does it converge to? Well, right off the bat, we can tell it's an improper integral since it's going to infinity. So to make this into a more uh, tangible term, you simply set the limit as capital N, as to not confuse with lowercase n, approaches infinity of, write the parentheses, Again, we'll just write the lower boundary as 1, but this time, since uh, n represents infinity, we can just simply write n to make it more in a understandable terminology. And then we simply write 1 over 3x plus 1 quantity squared dx. And there you go, this sets up our problem to be solved. So rather than repetitively writing limit as n approaches infinity every time, then just doing the integral inside out, let's simply address the integrand without the limits or anything, so just improper, 1 over 3x plus 1 squared. And let's integrate that and then plug it back in. It will make the process a lot easier. So essentially, that would thereby become just the indefinite integral between 1 over 3x plus 1 squared dx. Now, how would we uh, solve that one? Well, there's nothing special, no integration by parts, no trig subs. So by default, we can just go to u sub, having u equal 3x plus 1, and then having that be squared. So that works out. So u equals 3x plus 1. If you take the derivative of that, du, you get 3. And don't forget to write the dx and isolate dx to equal du over 3. So now we can plug that back in to be 1 over u, since u equals that term again, square it, du over 3. Don't forget that constant. We can isolate that constant by having it be 1 third integral of u to the negative second, since that's just the same thing. You know, we're, we're making it easier to integrate, du. So now we can set that equal to 1 third u to the negative 1 over negative 1 since we are simply adding 1 to the exponent and then putting that as a denominator. Again, we don't need plus c or anything since we will address that part later. And then this will essentially equal negative 1 over 3u. We're just rearranging the terms. Now let's plug u back in to find out what this integral equals. It's negative 1 over 3 times what does u equal? 3x plus 1. So we just plug that back in. So let's not uh, write this out completely yet. Let's just keep it as this term for uh, simplicity. And now we can finally address back to the main integral. So all we have to do is just sub it back in. So let's write limit of n approaching infinity of, now that we actually solved this, all we have to do is set the boundaries between one and n, right? That's why we didn't add the c. So let's write the brackets, uh, negative 1 over 3 times 3x plus 1. And let's close that up, put that between 1 and n. Remember, n still represents infinity in this case. And then close that. So you could do it two ways. You could do it with the negative 1 third, and you can do it out. Or you could treat that as a constant, actually. And that will save you a little bit of time. So we can bring that out, negative 1 third. Since it's a constant, you can see that right over here. Times the limit as n approaches infinity of, it's just going to simply be 1 over 3x plus 1. See, isn't that easier to look at? Now let's put that between 1 and n. So all we got to do now is plug n in for x, since that those are the boundaries we are solving. So it'll be negative 1 third times the limit again of n approaching infinity. Now let's do the upper bound, 1 over 3n plus 1. Now we subtract that by the lower bound, plugging in now for 1. 1 over 3 times 1 is 3, and then plus 1 is 4, so minus 1 fourth. And thus, uh, we can look at it again. So if n is supposed to represent infinity, 3 times infinity is still infinity, right? Just logically thinking here. 
So if we put 1 over any term of infinity, we can see it's not negative, so we don't need to worry about that. But uh, we can see it's 1 over infinity. And just think about it, if 1 over infinity, what would that logically equal? 0. Since you're putting a finite value over an infinite value. So now that we know that it's 0 over here, let me just do that for reiteration. We can write negative 1 third. And we don't need the limit anymore since that was the only n in the equation. If you took the limit of n as approaches infinity of 1 over 4, it's still 1 over 4 since there's no n term. So essentially, we can just simply multiply that by 0, since this term is 0, minus 1 fourth. That equals negative 1 third times negative 1 fourth. Don't forget that negative. Two negatives cancel out when you multiply them. That equals 1 twelfth. And that is our solution. Since we do have a solution, this proves that this integral, or improper integral, is convergent. And there you go, we solved this problem. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them, and uh, good luck.